Israel. Welcome to our Omud Yom Yishir. We are in the Omud Yom Yishir, Maseches Kiddush, in Daf Tes, Omud Aleph. Tes, you can remember that this is Daf Tes. talks about Shtar. Shtar has Tes in the middle, Shin Tes Resh. And this year we mention all the names, and of course we're learning for the quick and speedy and easy victory and release of the captured people. Weiter, Shemishmo. Tono Abonon, we're going to actually learn about redemption today in a different context. Tono Abonon, the Brysa says as follows. We know that one of the ways to be Mekadish a woman is Bishtal, right? Either Kesef, we said, a woman can be acquired, can be Miskadeshes with Kesef, Daftes, or Mudalif, middle of the page. And then Shtar. What is Shtar? With a document, with a written document, a man can be Mekadish a woman. Tono Abonon, Bishtal Ketzad. How is it actually being done? How would a person be Mekadish a woman with a shtar? This is like basically practical instructions of Kiddush and Bishtar. Kiddush and Bishtar are not accepted today. As we know, there are too many details, but therefore people don't know how to do it, so they better not do it at all. That's what it says in the Rishonim. So it's more accepted to be Mekadish with a, with money. However, we have to know, how would one be Mekadish with a shtar? Don't know about none. a person has no money on him and he wants to be Mekadish woman right away. Shtar would be a good solution. Ketzad, Kosev Loi Alaniyah. Now, the first uh, example of Kiddush Ishtar is when a man is Makadish, a girl who is, let's say, younger than 12 and a half, and the one in charge of her Kiddushin is her father. Then he gives the Ishtar to the father. The father represents his daughter in the Kiddushin system when she's young. Bishtar Ketzad, how would one be Makadish Ishtar? Kosev Loi, the man writes to the father of the girl, Alaniyah Oi Alacheres. He writes it over niyar or cheres. That's a chiddush. Niyar is paper, which is not parchment. Cheres is a piece of clay. Niyar and cheres are not good things to write on halachically, is because really, usually you prefer shta, you prefer klaf, you prefer parchment. Here, you're allowed to write it over niyar or cheres. We're going to explain why. Afal pish en puta. Even though there is no value of puta there, yeah, the shtar itself, the paper or the piece of clay are so cheap. They're not even worth a pruta. It's still okay. Why? Because he's not Makadashur with the value of the paper. He's Makadashur with the content of the shtar. And what does it say in the shtar? Bitcha mikudeshesli, bitcha or bitcha moesesli, or bitcha li leintu. In other words, all these lashoinas that a person may say verbally, he can write it in the shtar, right? And in this case, he's saying, Your daughter is Makudeshis to me, your daughter is Moresis, your daughter is my wife. Then, Harezo Mekudeshes, she is Mekudeshes. Full stop, period. Now, the point is as follows. Although Niar and Cheres, the, the writing can actually be Mizdayef, you can forge it. It can be Mizdayef, you can forge it. And when it comes to a get, it's not so simple you can write a get on such a thing. Yeah, that's, we're going to learn it in Gitin. In Kiddushin, it's okay. Why is it okay? Because in Kiddushin, we're talking here about a case where there are no Edim written on the Shtal. Rather, the Eidim, and we said Eidim are very crucial in Kiddushim, these are the Eide Mesira. Eidim, we've seen this in the past, are either Mesira or Chasima. It, here you don't have Eidim on the actual shtar itself. You don't rely on them, because that shtar made out of paper or cheres, clay, that's not, uh, th- th- that those things can be changed. But the point is that the Eidim over here are Eide Mesira. Eidim who watch you, what's them so? Give over. The Edim who watch how the Chosen gives over the color of the Shtar, and they see what's written in the Shtar, Mazel Tov, that's Kiddushin. Afterwards, you can tear the Shtar. The Shtar itself is not important anymore. The Shtar was only important and functional as an item that was given and contains within it the text of Kiddushin was given from him to her in the presence yeah, of two Edim that were very vigilant, and they saw what's going on. And therefore, I, what may happen later, I don't care. We rely on those Edim, those Edim, the Edim that we have, Reuven and uh, Binyomin, the two Edim, those two Edim can always come to Beisdin and say there was Kiddushin. For us, that's good enough. Now, what's the Kiddush and Boshove Puta? Because if the paper is Shove Puta, then we're going to see later Sugi and Daf Memches, which also appears in Halacha, that sometimes if the Shtal is not kosher, by default, we automatically go to Kenyan Kesef, and if the shtar is worth money, we say, ah, it's not a good shtar, let's use it as an item of itself. Yeah, let's say he wrote it on a nice parchment worth uh, worth money, then even if the shtar doesn't work, it may work with Sad Kesef. 
That's all these are side things. The main point here is the shtar is not worth much. It's not such quality paper. It can even be forged, but as long as he wrote it according to halacha, we're going to talk more about the text later. He wrote, Harei Atl Mekodesh Asli, or Harei Bitchom Mekodesh Asli, your daughter is my wife. He gave it to the father. Mekodesh Asli Mekodesh in front of the Edim. That's the basic idea. We're going to elaborate more, and also a social honor about this today. Maskif Lo Rabzer Bar Memel. Rabzer Bar Memel is now attacking what we just saw in the Brisa. And the question is as follows. Where else did we see that Shta works in, in, in Halacha, besides Kedushin, where... Mechira, very good. Gitin and Mechira, Korkos, very good. A karka can be sold with a shtar, very good, very good. Also avodim like karka. And we have a whole scenario, and we're saying this dafka now before we start talking, and that is what's the source that a shtar can, that karka can be nikne with money, excuse me, with shtar, also with money, by the way, but with shtar, that is from, in the Old Testament, the book of Jeremiah. Have you heard of Jeremiah? In Sefer or Yirmiyo, what? <laughs> so Yirmiyo, Yirmiyo Anovi, he actually wanted to show Bnei Israel that in spite of all the dark prophecies which came out to be true, he wanted to show them that eventually they'll come back to Eretz Israel. Eventually they'll come back. Unbelievable. Yeah, from Brooklyn, yeah, Five Towns, Muncie. All these places will eventually come to Eretz Israel, also from Bovel. So what did he do? He bought a piece of land from his cousin, Hanamel, and he got the shtar, yeah, from Hanamel, and he said, keep that shtar that I bought a piece of land in Eretz Israel, knowing we're going to go to Golus, and keep it in the in the vessel to show we will be back. I'm buying a piece of land in Eretz Israel to show that although I'm number one prophet who says we're going to go out, we're also go, we're going to go back in, Therefore, maintain my, you know, my lease, my, my right over the land in the shtar, so we know that we're going to come back. Now, that was just general knowledge, information before we start. Maskif l'Rabzer Memel. Rabzer Memel is asking the following question. Aloy dami hai shtar l'shtar zbini, first wide line. In other words, the shtar that we learn over here, shtar of Kiddushin, is not similar to the shtar mechira of a field. Why? And says Rashi, so how do you know the shtar of the Kiddushin works the way you claim it's going to work. Yeah, because the other star that we know about is what? Star Mechir of the land. So why why is it the Star Mechir of the land is different to Star of Kiddushin? Awesome. Over there, we continue the question. When you will sell a, a piece of land, the seller is the one who has to write. Yeah, my field is sold to you. Writes who? Who is the initiator? Who is the, who is the one who starts everything? The Moicher. The Moicher writes it on the Shtar and gives it to the buyer. The buyer keeps it like Yermio. Ocho, over here, Baal Koisev, who is the Baal? Is the husband in the story the buyer or the seller? The buyer. He buys her issues. The Baal, who's the buyer, BB, Baal buyer. Baal Koisev, Bitcho Mukodesh Asli. Why? Why the difference? Yeah. Why is it that by a land, the one who sells rights, and by peace, excuse me, and by the woman, we say that the, the, the one who acquires the woman is the one who writes, I'm acquiring it, and that's written in the Shtar. Which one is right? Answers the Gemara, Omarova, it's not a problem. Each one is right, each one to its, to its own. Over there, we go according to the context of the Posuk, and here too, we go with the context of the Posuk. Each one has different sources, different Psukim. Over there, it's Moicher, and by Kiddushin, it's Koina, the buyer. And we're going to explain this now, elaborate Hossam over there by piece of land, Ksiv, and we're not yet talking about Yermio. Over there, we talk about, this is a posuk in Vayikra, Umochar me'achuzosoi. It says the one who sells his achuza, a person who sells his piece of land, a person who sells his land, what do you see when the Torah says Mochar? The Torah could have also spoken about the Koine. Be'moichar tola rachmono. Over there, we see that the central person in the show the central person in the in, in the Maisa of the Mechira is the Moicher, the seller. And therefore, we say the seller should be the one to write the Shtar, give it to the buyer. But Ocho, over here, when it comes to Kiddushin, Ksib, what does it say about Kiddushin? Kiikach, we saw this post many times. Kiikach ish isho be'olo. If a man takes a wife, if a man acquires, kicha kicha, he takes the wife, the Baal tola rachmono. Over here, the Baal seems to be the central part of the story. And therefore, when it comes to Shtar, we say the Baal should be the initiator, as we see all the time, right? 
the Baal gives her the ring, the Baal is the one who initiates, is the one more active, is the one who says her to that the other way around. So to the Baal, should, as always in Kiddushin, should be the active party, and therefore he too writes the star. That could have been so nice and so good. Break the Gemore. That's up until now we spoke about the Torah. Yeah, here it's a seller and here it's the buyer. All good. Break the Gemore. That's not good, says the Gemara. Also, Nami, when he talks about the uh, Karka, we see there too in a, in a, in Karka being bought with a with a star. See, it says over there, and here this is the pasuk in Yirmiyahu. Yeah, it says, "Sodos bekesef yiknu." Yirmiyahu promises the people of Israel, "Sodos bekesef yiknu." Right? They will buy fields with money. You know, money is one way of buying a field. Yeah. Oh, so you see what we're also concentrating on the buyers, and we say the buyer is the one takes in, taking the initiative. The buyer is a central guy. By the way, of course, in every transaction, it's buyer and the seller. The question is, when it comes to shtar, which one is more dominant with the one taking the action to write the shtar? Why do you say it's the moicher? Here, there's a posuk in Yermio, and Yermio is a whole business. By the way, Yermio is a very, very big source. There's a whole parak. I read it this morning, but almost an entire parak describes how he bought the field and the shtar and the kesef, the whole guns and ice. So you see, Yermio and Novi is telling you, so this be kesef, ye knu. Yeah, they will buy. Oh, so maybe the buyer should be the one to write the shtar. Says the Gemara, no, yikonu. You can change the reading. As we all know, the Torah has no nikud. We all know that Hebrew has no vowels, or so they say. In other words, there are no written uh, nikudos. And therefore, you can read it as if the Posuk says, yikonu. The Sodas shall be bought. Oh, shall be bought. Not iknu, shall be bought. Bought means passive voice. It shall be bought, meaning the central guy is a seller. Right, it was bought, meaning somebody has sold it to me, and really we stay with the idea. We 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 maintain and retain the idea that the active guy in the mechira of the field is the seller. Why is that? Because we saw We want both psukim mocha machuzosoi and the posuk sodas bukesef yiknu to be homogenic, to be consistent. So we change yiknu to yikonu, making the the buyer passive and the seller active. The Gemara, excuse me, excuse me, says the Gemara. My time, Ekar, is the Yikonu Mishum Umocha, right? Why is it that you're, excuse me, distorting the Pasuk and you're reading instead of Yiknu Yikonu, you're twisting yourself because there's another Pasuk that says Umocha, right? Because the Torah says Umocha, meaning the central guy is the seller, so Yiknu, we say, ah, really it's Yikonu. Wait a second, if that's your logic, great. Achinami, let's go now to who? To buying a woman, to acquiring a kala. Achinami here, kari be kiikach. Look, you know, excuse me, kari be kiyakiach. Instead of kiikach, instead of kiikach, I suggest, yeah, that kiikach by a man is saying the central party, the dominant party is the chosen who's the buyer because it says kiikach. Wait, I would say kiyakiach. In other words, he will, he will, yeah, he will be sold. They'll sell it to him. Why should I distort it by, by, by Kiddushin too? The Khtiv, as Bitin Osati, Excuse me. Aha, look, by Kiddushin also, there's a postuk that says that who's the active party? The color side, the woman's side, because it says outright in the story of Tzoaz Shemra, the girl whose the husband says that she was not loyal and she's Chayv Skila, according to him. It says the father gets up there and says in front of Beisdin, I gave my daughter to this man. Oh, so you see that the giver, the seller, yeah, the one giving is the active party by Kiddushin too. In other words, it's a tie. It's a tie. Both Mecher and Kiddushin both have one posuk this way, one posuk the other way. If you want to start distorting Psukin one way, you can play the game both ways. At the end of the day, it's a tie. Both Kiddushin and Mechir of Shtar end up having one posuk describing the Moichers active as a central guy and the buyer as a central person. Elo Marove, that's a big Ela, complete regression from what we said before. Really, there is no logic, and actually there's no source. There's no real source, because if you go to the sources, each one has buyer-seller, the other one has buyer-seller. Elamai, really, the, it's halochal m'shemisinai, that the case of the field, what happens by field, who should write the star and give it over is the seller, right? 
and by the woman, it should be the buyer who is the Baal, the man. That's Allah Shem Sinai, that's Mechino Rabban on a koi. When we beforehand in the Brisa say, yeah, when we learn it from uh, um, from the Psukim, it's not that we learn it from the Psukim, you're right. If you learn from the Psukim, you're going into hot water, you're going to a, to a minefield. Rabbanon were mas mechit on the Psukim. Rabbanon said, we have an oral tradition, and we see Psukim, one here, one there, we choose certain Psukim as a simon, as an asmachta, as a place that shows that this din, that's already Allah Shem Sinai, that din is hinted here and hinted there. Yeah, there are hints other way too, so what? But we don't rely on the Psukim, so we don't mind so much if these Psukim are not 100% working with us. At the end of the day, we have the Psukim that are working with the Allah Shem Sinai. Choices asks the question on Rashi, and we don't have time to see Choices today so much. Choices is claiming the Rashi is wrong because Choices says Alacham Shem Sinai means that it's not written, it's not the source is not the Psukim. And here, if you look later, as I told you before, the source for the fact that that you that you buy Bichlal, a field with star. How do you know you buy a field with a star? Because Tim McKenzie does it. How do you know you buy a field with a star? Says the Gemara much later, yeah, in, in, in the later in later Dapim, it says because you see the store in Yermio. Ah, so you see Yermio Novi was a source of what of buying with a star. Oh, so you see that the whole business of buying with a star, that source is Minatoira, Minaksuvim. Therefore, says Toysfus, and Elohim Shimisina, by the way, the definition means something that, whose source is not written. That's Elohim Shimisina, you know that. Elohim Shimisina means something Doraisa, but it's not something written in the Torah. That's Elohim Shimisina. Says Tai says that's not Allah Shimisina in my book because you see that it's not just little hints over there. The whole source of buying a soda with with star, a field with a star, the source is from the Psukim and Yermio. So don't tell me it's just a general oral tradition thing. More Shabbos of Kafches. How do you know that you did you put on Tfilin this morning, everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. Yeah, I can see you did. Yeah. So uh, which color is your Tfilin? Black, blue, pink, green. I think it's black, kind of usually, right? Why black? Allah Chavashim Sinai. It's a din d'orai, so that you have to have black uh, tefillin. It doesn't say it anywhere in the Torah. Trust me, it can go back and forth the entire Torah. It's all written in black, but it doesn't say that the tefillin have to be black. How do you know that? Allah Chavashim Sinai. It's not even hinted anywhere. More in Shabbos after Ches. Yeah, there are many other Allah Chavashim Sinai like that. Okay? So here too, Frek Tosis, that's not called halacha. Therefore, Tosis says, you know, Tilchas Aninu? Tilchas Aninu, the way Tosis defines it, is, he wants to say, Hilchas Medina. Mina Goyokach. It's a minag, Hilchas Medina, which means what? The halachas of the Medina does mean the state of Israel. Medina means halachas of the, like minagamokim kind of. But it's a minagamokim that's global. That Chachomim established, that should be a minhag. That should be the, the running minhag, that the husband should ride it this way, and the wife, one acquiring the field should should receive the shtar. And the psukim are just hints, are just a uh, are just, um, uh, thing, but it's not Allah Hamishim Sinai, meaning the, the entire halach of buying a karka with field is Minatoira. Yeah, and acquiring a woman the star is Minatoira. The detail of who writes, who gives, and who takes, that detail is Minaga Medina. That's Minaga, Minaga, yeah, Minaga Hoyoka, Ilchas Medina. What? Right, and he doesn't say it Allah Hamishim Sinai here. Right, right. Ah, okay. But no, sometimes he'll chasen inu may mean Allah Hamishim Sinai. Here it's not, according to Tosfos. The boy seima, another ter. It's another answer. Hosam nami, when you wanna, <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have now a tiebreaker, right? Right. We have different psukim for kalka. We have different psukim for kiddushin. The buyer, the seller. Here, I'll tell you. Over there, when it comes to buying a field, selling a field, see, it says outright, real life story. Real life story. Oh, Yermio Novi is describing his experience with his cousin Hanamel. Hanamel sold him a field. Yermio did a big deal out of it to show everyone I'm buying a field in Eretz Israel. He bought the field from his cousin and he took the Sefer Hamakne. He took Sefer Hamakne. What Sefer Hamakne? The Shtar. He took the Shtar from the seller who was his cousin Hanamel. Oh. That's real life story, Mio Novi. We think you're Mio Nu Halocha. In other words, it's when you have a posak one way, posak the other way, what's Machria? What's the, yeah, what is the decisive factor? The way your Mio behaved. Your Mio behaved according to Halocha clearly, and he writes it and made, made a big deal. Your Mio made a point that the real Halocha, the way you should really read the Psukim, is that he bought the Sefer Makne, he got the Sefer Makne 
from the seller, and that's the way the halacha should be. The Omar, Rove Omar of Nachman, continuing in the same wavelength now, Kosov Loy, a man writes to a father, a Chosa now writing to a father of a girl who is what? Let's say she is under the mitzvah and a half. Kosov Lalaniar or Lacheres, okay, right? He writes over paper, Cheres, Afel Bishendosh Veputa. A, they can be forged, but we don't care because the Kedushin is over and we have A day Mesira. B, it's not Shove Pruta. Who cares? I'm not a Kaddisher with the paper. I'm a Kaddisher with the content, right? It's like somebody writes you. I don't know if a check is Shove Pruta. Write a check, write one check out of here. Yeah, people don't write checks anymore. Yeah, I don't know if the check is Shove Pruta. A million dollar in the check, if you want to have that check, right? Although the paper itself is not Shove Pruta. Here too, the, the paper is not Shove Pruta. What does he write on it? Bitcha Mikudeshesli. Bitcha Muresesli, Bitcha Lili Intu. Okay, these are three optional texts saying your daughter is going to be my wife. Now he's becoming now my wife, he's Mukudeshes, Moreses to me. Penali de Avia, Penali de Atzmo, Mikudeshes, Midaitoi, Vehushaloi Bogro. Either the father receives it, Penali de Atzma, she receives it. Ah, how can a girl below Bas Mitzvah receive a Kiddushin? She's not a man de Omar. She's not the one to decide or say anything. Midaitoi, oh, of the father. The father told her that man will give you the star, accept the star. She accepts the star, but the mind behind it, the one who has to agree and want and have the consent, is the father of the girl. Bogro. As long as she's not a bogeris. How old is a bogeris? Anybody? Twelve and a half. I'm surrounded by tremendous number of the Second case. Kosov lo alaniar o alacheres. Kosov lo to her. To her. Alaniar or Alacheres, again, paper or clay or shards of yeah, clay. Afal Pishendo Shoveputa, Lesson Shoveputa, Hare At Mukudesh Sli. You are Mukudesh to me. He's not addressing the girl herself. How old is the girl who's addressed herself? And she's deciding 12 and a half until 120. There are 80 something year, year old people also get married. So from 12 and a half till 120, yeah, he writes to her, You are my wife. Hare At Lili Intu. You are my wife in Aramaic. That's the other way around. The father may receive her Shtar Kiddushin. What? She's 20. What do you mean the father received the Shtar Kiddushin? Midaita. She made him a Shliach. Uh -huh. Why not? She said, Daddy, I'm not there right now. Can you please? That's I'm 20 years old. I decided I'm going to marry that guy. Can you please accept, for technical reasons, be my Shliach, accept the Shtar from Mr. Perfect, my Chosen, that's a bogeres. Okay, so now all we saw now was the general idea. Now I'll, I'm going to ask you a question, which is a machloikas. I'm going to answer later. Big, 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 big story. Do you have to write the name of the kala in the shtal? Machloikas, yeah, the Ritver brings opinions. The Chuba Sashba says, yeah, one way the Shulchanor brings. There's a question whether the name, by get, do you have to write the name? Of course, it has to be written, not only that. Let me ask you a question. What? All the names, all the names, the big, big questions. I was once Zoyche to be by Rav Liashiv, and people asked him about the two American Avrechim, look like very from to Avrechim. They asked him about a get, about a name in a get. A woman was called Zlea, but in English it sounds like Leah, right? Like that. So, so they're asking, they have to write with an Aleph and again with a Yud. It's big questions. In other words, yeah, because by a get, it's very common. You have to write all her names and all her chinuchi, all her. Nicknames, yeah, let's say she's called Prince Abela, but people call her Jennifer, get to write everything and all different uh, combinations. That's with a get. Cost of law. Oh, now by a get, let me ask you a question, another question. Let's say a man has two wives, and both of them are called, of course, Prince Abela. Now he wrote a get for Prince Abela, Prince Abela A and Prince Abela B. Prince Abela A really got his nerves already. It's too many times and she's driving him nuts. Prince Abela A, he's writing a get for, with Prince Abela A in mind. All of a sudden, Prince Abela A is behaving herself very nicely. She, she got the message. Prince Abela B starts be, misbehaving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It moved, yeah, like the children, you know, sometimes yeah, the misbehavior moves from one to the other. So now he decided, oh, the get which I wrote with Prince Abela A in mind, I'm going to give to Prince Abela B. That works, no? Great idea. Doesn't work. It's the same name, same name exactly. Lishma, the cause of law, Lishma. You have to give the get to the woman that you had in mind while writing, or the other way around. You have to write the get with the person in mind 
the person's going to get it. But if it's two women called Rochel Baslea, yeah, you can't give the get written for Rochel Baslea one to Rochel Baslea two. That's a clear aloch in Gittin all over Maseches Gittin because it says in the Torah, the cost of law, he should write it to her, the drosh of the cost of law, Lishmo. The question is, what about Kiddushin? Because let me remind you that the source of get of, of, uh, of Shtar Kiddushin is not from Korkois, it's from Gittin, the Yotz of Ahoysa, the, the forever Hekesh, right? How do you know a woman is miskadeshes beget? We know from with miskadeshes with a star. That's not such a mistake, by the way. Get is a no, is a name for all kinds of stars, not just a divorce, by the way. So now a woman can be miskadeshes with a star. We learn that from a get of a woman that goes out matish yetzia havaya leyetzia. She goes out with a get, so too she can come in with a star, right? That now begs the question. Um, okay. Okay, yes, question time. Quick, quick, quick. Yep. Boy, Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, now this begs the question. Shtar Eirus in Shekos v'Sheloi Lishmo. Ah, a person wrote a Shtar Eirus in. He was sitting in his room, and he he wrote a Shtar Kiddushin, Harei At Mekodesh Esli. Whether the name is necessary or the name is not necessary to be written, Shemachlok Esri Shonim, actually does make a difference. He wrote the shtar, you know, Haret, he's a chos, <laughs> he's a bochin chishiduchin for a long time, and he wrote, yeah, Haret Mekudesh Esli, in case he meets a nice girl, he'll have a shtar, ready, ready. He doesn't have anybody specific in mind. Then he saw a nice girl next week, he gave her the shtar, no? In other words, yeah, when he wrote the shtar, he didn't have her in mind, maybe didn't even know of her existence. And later on, he gives her the shtar that was written without her in mind. Had that been a get, that would be absolutely possible, absolutely disqualified. Mahu, what would be the halacha regarding shtar kiddushin, not gittin? The Gemara now elaborates and explains the question. Do we say havayas leetzios machinan? We compare havaya leetzia, meaning we compare what? Kiddushin to get. Ma yetzia, just like yetzia, the exit, which is get, but in lishmo, as I told you, a get you have to write with the exact right woman in mind when you write it. That Prince Abela with the dark hair and this. So to Havaya, which is what? Which is Kiddushin, also has to be written already by the time of writing with this specific Prince Abela. Yeah, that one. Yeah, from uh, whatever. Lishma. Or maybe no. You want to compare? I can compare differently. Havaya Slahadadi Makshinan. Let's compare Kiddushin to Kiddushin. Why compare Kiddushin to Gitin? Compare one form of Kiddushin to another form of Kiddushin. Look what happens. Mahabaya de Kesef, just like the classical Kenyan Kesef, Loiba Inan Lishma, right? In other words, he gives her a coin. Is this coin was this coin minted in the Israeli mint for her? No. People can do that. They know. They know, no. He bought her a ring. The ring wasn't manufactured in China with her in mind, right? The kesef doesn't have to be lishma. The actual manufacturing of the kesef, afavai the shtar, lo bein lishma. So too shtar doesn't have to be written lishma because shtar is part of the family of kinyonim. Kinyonim kedushin kesef is not made for her. The shtar should not be made for her either. So what do you compare it? You compare shtar of kedushin to shtar gitin or to kesef kedushin. Also the baya adaf ashta shlakish himself now. He himself, after he is uh, uh, by, uh, after he had the question, he himself answered Pashta. He himself answered his own question. And what did he say? And he said, he said like this clearly, we prefer to compare Kiddushin to Gitin than Kiddushin to Kiddushin. Yeah, because Vyotsa Vehoisa. And that's why when it comes to Kiddushin, the star has to be Lishmo. My question is, why? Why does he prefer to compare Kiddushin to Gitin and not Kiddushin to Kiddushin? Says Rashi, I want you to read this Rashi inside beautiful Rashi, and I spoke about it with the Talmudim in Yeshiva. Adar Pasha, third line, third line of Rashi. Uh, up until now, we're playing the game of what? Of, of some comparison of, uh, of Hekesh. Are you Makish X to Y or Makish X to W? Now, says Rashi, think, what is the source for the fact that a woman can be Nikne with Shtar? Not Kesef. The source is what I told you. It's Gitin. Ah. So it's not Stame Hekesh out of the air, out of the blue. It's a logical Hekesh. The entire source, 
the entire source that a woman can be acquired with a star is from get. Ah, so go to the source. Go to daddy, go to mommy, go to the yesai, to the makor. And therefore, just like over there, a woman can only be misgaresh's divorced with lishma, with the get written for her and with her in mind, so too, shtar kiddushin, which is only learned from Gitin, it's not a dry comparison. It's the whole life, the whole life of this whole shtar kiddushin came from shtar Gitin. It has to be written also lishma. And again, still machlokas l'shoinim, if the name of the woman has to be written or not. And I want you to understand one thing. The Ritzvah says something very interesting. The Ritzvah says, the Ritzvah says something beautiful. Why is it by a get? You need to write the name of the girl and the boy and by the and Kiddushin you don't. So it says, by a get, it says Sefer Krisus. Sefer Krisus means that everything has to be contained. All the Krisus, all the get has to be self-explanatory in the get. By Ishtar Kiddushin, as much as we learn some of the halachas from Gitin, we don't learn all the halachas from Gitin, right? Many halachas are different. And therefore, the fact that all the details have to be written inside, that the Krisus has to be inside the get, that's only by Krisus. All the details, him, her, who are you, Kairos? Who are you saying goodbye to? To Shprint Sabela or to Chana Yachne? You have to know who. And those have to be written in the Sefer Krisus. A shaken by Ishtar Kiddushin, no. That's not true. The context outside, the Edim, as we said, our Edim who watch the view, and they can see Reuven giving a star Kiddushin to Shprint Sabela. We know what's going on. I, the star itself is less self-explanatory. True, because it's not a Sefer Christus. It's a Sefer. Okay, other Shonim argue, and it's a Shaila La Locha, but at the end of the day, yeah, that is, but everyone agrees La Locha, that is written before Shana Locha, that, the, that he has to write it with her in mind. Even if he does mention her name, but when he writes the shtar, he has to write the shtar knowing exactly who is writing the shtar for. Yeah, don't write, uh, let's see, you know, many girls called uh, Rochel Bas uh, Nomi. Yeah, Rochel Bas Nomi, you know, they live in a Hasidish community, all the girls are called Rochel Bas Nomi, Rochel Bas Nomi. Don't write Rochel Bas Nomi and say, ah, whoever is going to, I'm going to start a hit and miss game. No, you have to have her in mind when you write it, because it's like a get, in that respect, it's like a get of Christmas. Itma. A development of that. Oh, that's something different. He wrote the Shtar Kiddushin with her in mind, but she didn't know about it. How nice and romantic. She didn't know that he's writing her a Shtar of Kiddushin. Later on, he'll give it to her. He'll propose. He's going to kneel in front of her. But right now, yeah, on the, by, the, by, the, by the boardwalk, right? Above the balloons, yeah? <laughs> but what? But Lamaisa... At the time when he wrote her the shtal of the Kiddushin, he had a very clear picture in his mind. He already dated her seven times. But she doesn't know Lomidaita. Factually, she just doesn't know that he's writing it for her. Why should that make a difference? Oh, Papa, it's a big machloikis. Rove and Ravina Amri Mekudeshes. Rove and Ravina say she's Mekudeshes. She doesn't have to know. Well, eventually she will know, of course. When he gives her the shtal, she has to agree. Nobody's forcing her. She's an adult, yeah? You'll know, ah, what a surprise. Wow, you really serious all this time? But Lemaisa, <laughs> when he wrote it, she didn't know. Was that a Mekudeshes? Rav Pope and Rav Shravi Amri ain't a Mekudeshes. Rav Pope and Rav Shravi says, no, she's not Mekudeshes. She has to know. She has to know at the time of the Ksiva that she's on his mind and she has a stark Kiddushin written for her. She has to know that. Otherwise, she's not Mekudeshes. And obviously, the question is, why? Omer of Pope. So please notice, Rav Pope is one of the one of the opponents over here. Says Rav Pope, I will tell you their reason. I'll tell you the reason of my opponents who say that she doesn't have to know. And I'll tell you my reason that I say that she does have to know. I'll tell you I know how to play both games, my opponent's mind and my mind. I'll tell you their reason why you don't have to, like she doesn't have to know. It says Viotso Vehoiso, right? We keep comparing 100 times already. Viotso Vehoiso, Makish Havaya Leyetzia. We compare Get or we compare Kiddushin to Gitin. Ma Yetzia Lishmo Veshalomi Daito. Afavaya Nami Lishmo Veshalomi Daito. Let me ask you a question. Before Rabbi Yuda Chosid came, right? Oh, excuse me, I made a mistake. Before Rabbi Gershom came, Rabbi Gershom was the first feminist. I'm serious. Rabbi Gershom who fought for women's rights. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and what did he say? 
women cannot be divorced against their will. But before his time, a woman can, you can, a man could have just shoved, excuse my language, a get, put it in his wife's hand. And she has to know about it, but she doesn't have to agree. Right? And that would work. So wait a second. So let's compare Kiddushin to Gitin and say what? Just like by Gitin, Lishmo. When he writes the get, he has to have her in mind. She doesn't have to know that the get is written for her. He's writing the get first. She doesn't have to know. Even by the time of giving it, he has to tell her that's your get goodbye. So too by Kiddushin. So to Kiddushin. Didn't we just say a hundred times you learn Kiddushin from Gitin? Kiddushin, she has to agree. That's true. At the end, she has to agree. But by the time of the writing, we compare it to get. Just like by get, at least by the time of writing of the get, the woman doesn't have to know. So to by Kiddushin, she doesn't have to know. Beautiful. This is the reason for my opponents who say she, does, she, she doesn't have to know, does not. They may time it did. Says Rapapa, I'll also tell you now my reason. The Yotze Voiso, I also believe the Yotze Voiso. I also learned about it in school. Maki Shavaya Letzia, I also believe in this Hekesh. However, I play differently. My Yetzia Bein Adas Makne, Afavaya Bein Adas Makne. That's a different, different outlook completely. In other words, what happens in the times of Yetzia? Who's the one who knows what's going on? The one who is makne, when the husband is Megarish's wife, he's selling her her freedom or giving her. Yeah, he's makne, he's giving her, he's the giver, he gives her his makne to her, her freedom. The koine satsmo, the, the get, right? Here's your freedom, go marry whoever you want now. Great, yeah, you're a free bird. Ah, and he does have to know. So too, Havaya bin Adas makne. Aha. In the marriage, a woman in marriage is like the man in divorce. Why? Because she's the one giving. Uh -huh. We compare not men to men, woman to woman. We compare giver to giver. Just like the giver of the, in that case, the freedom. The giver is like giving back the kiddushin, the issues, by, by giving her the get. You're free to go. That is what the man, and he has to know, obviously, what's going on, and he's active. So to the woman in kiddushin, she's the giver. She's the giver. She's the one who gives him herself. And as the giver, she has to know what's going on. It's true, she's passive, and he's the one writing, but she's as much as a giver. She's enough of a giver to be able to have to know what's going on because she's the one giving him herself. Uh -huh. And she's a makne. Makne. She's makne herself to him. And therefore, she has to know what's going on. And yeah, they say no. They say we compare men, men to women to women. And he says no. I'm comparing the men in Gerushin to a woman of Kiddushin, because they're both the Makne, so they have to know what's flying over here at the time of the Ksiva, already when the get is being written. May CV questions are welcome in uh, five lines from now. First wide line, when we get to the two dots, then question time, short one. May CV, question on what we just said. It says, and by the way, I want to well, I want to congratulate all of us for the first time in Kiddushin, uh, first time it's Mefurash, the concept of a vote. Now we're going to see this now. The idea of what we call today engagement and vote, right? And agreements that are pre-nuptial, before the actual chasana. Here it comes. Masivi. Look at what the Bryce says. Ein koisvin shtore rusin venisuin. One should not write the story of the shtar of a rusin. Shtar a rusin is the shtar we're talking about over here and nisuin. The star of Nisuin is the star. I'm not sure, by the way, with star Nisuin, because by the Nisuin there is no star. Maybe he means Suba. I don't know. But star Erusin is what? The way we understand now, star Mukodesh Asli. The star we talk about all the time. Oh, only if the both agree. Oh, look at that. It says both men and women both have to agree to the star Erusin. My love, what does it mean? Love, star Erusin, Nisuin, Mamesh. Oh, look. We're talking here about Shtar Eusin, the Shtar of Kiddushin, the Shtar of over a piece of shard, less than Shabbat Pruta, Aret Mukodesh Asli, then, and yet we see they both have to know, they both have to agree. Seems like Rav Popa is right. Rav Popa is the winner, Rav Popa of Shavia. And says the Gemara, Loi, Shtar Epsikta. Look at the Rashi, Shtar Epsikta, look at the Halig word, At Noim Shebeinehem. Moment Shapuskin Zelaz the Raboisa, historical moment. This is a source, this Rashi, for the concept called Tnoim. How do you call Vort? In other words, what's the synonym for Vort? Tnoim. You never heard that? 
Tnoim. That's what they call it. In many uh, circles in Israel, at least, yeah, divorce is the Tnoim. Because many times, actually, right to start Tnoim, right? And it's obligating. Says Rashi, explaining the Gemara, we are not talking here about Shtor Erusin. We're talking, which, which in Halacha means what? Kiddushin, Eshet Mamish under the Chupa. But rather, we talk about Shtor Psikta, the Shtar of what we call a vault, written usually a few months before the wedding. And there, what does it say? And that star of obligating themselves to give enough money, the Choson is the very, Sanua Choson is only looking for, face, I don't know, 700,000 shekels, you know, v'chule, v'chule, yeah, and the Kala will give this, and the Choson will give that, v'chule, v'chule, all the financial agreements, right? So those things are written midat name, but it's not the Shtar Kiddushin. Shtar Kiddushin itself is still up to debate. So now, what exactly are we saying now? So let, let's just re reframe, let's refocus. What are we saying? That the shtar of the, the shtar of the tnoim, the shtar of the financial agreement written way before the chasana has to be written with the consent of both chasana and the kala. What does that mean? Look at the following, how relevant to Jewish life throughout history. But kama atanoisen labincha, how much money are you giving, says the father, for your son, so-and-so? Father of the bride, how much are you giving, so-and-so? Yeah. In other words, they made a verbal agreement between them. I'm going to give half the chasana in Kinor David. I'm going to give another half the chasana in Kinor David. I'll bring this, I'll bring that. I'll pay for the photographer. You'll pay for the, I don't know what, for the for the sheitel. Right? So then... And so they made all this verbal agreement. Omdu v'kidshu. Now, they did not make a Kenyan. Ooh. They didn't make a Kenyan. Usually, if I tell you, you know, as I told you about a million times, if I tell you, let's make an agreement, your motorcycle. What's with the motorcycle? Well, how come it's not by me yet? Yeah? Your motorcycle for my, uh, okay, 13,000. Stop arguing, okay? 13,000, yeah? 13,000, yeah? I don't really have to. I mean, it would be nice if I don't. Mechus Armano, as long as it's verbal, and I said, I'm buying the motorcycle for 13000 And you say yes. And I say yes. And each side disagree, uh, backs off. We're not nice people. We're not Mikhail. Here, there's a special halach, halach, halamaisa, raboisai. Let's say they verbally agreed on all kinds of chasin agreements without making a Kenyan, without Kenyan sudar. Omdu v'kidshu. If they, according to Sam Rishonim, straight away, right after that, they did the kiddushin, then konu. They now, the fact that they enjoy the fact, ah, the young couple is under the hoop after all these years. He's already 19, she's already 18, old bachelors, old singles, right? Finally, they're under the hoop. The parents are so happy with that simcha of seeing them under the hoop. That itself is instead of Kenyan. That shows we have Gemiris Das. With the Hano, the mutual Hano of seeing the couple under the hoop, right? That itself is an equivalent of Kenyan. Hen hen advarium niknim ba'amira. All these things that they were mischayev, they're mischayev. He has to give him an apartment in Arnov. She has to give him, a, I don't know, a car. V'chule, v'chule. Yeah, they have to really be mischayev in all these things because, although it's only verbal, still, because there's right away Kiddushin, and the Kiddushin are such fun, such a no, that hano is instead of Agba, Mashiach, whatever, Sudar, instead of other Kinyonim. Now, wait a second. Don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. There's a little bit of a catch over here. What was the original story we said? That they both have to agree, right? They both have to agree, him and her. What's the Kiddush? Of course they both have to agree. Explains Rashi, and we're not reading inside, I apologize. Says Rashi, no. The Kiddush is as follows. Let's say there are people there who are Edim. There are Edim on the vault. There are Edim, and they heard. This is big money. He's paying for Hassan, uh, I don't know, Waldorf Astoria, FSI. Uh, 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 big, big, big money. And they're really Mishayev. Can the Edim write it in a shtar without telling, without the consent of the, the Chosen and Kala side? Or can't they? Well, it's a chiddush, Ellen. You're right, but it's, you're right. Yeah. In other words, usually if I am an aid, and let's say I was called to be an aid in a transaction between Shlomo and Yosef. Yeah. Let's say make a transaction when selling me your car. Yeah. Fine. So now if I'm an aid on the side, I have the right to write it in a star, which will obligate you, without you asking me. Unless maybe you tell me clearly not to. Here, here the Chiddush is, unless both Chosen and Kala, or Chosen's parents, Kala parents, agree 
and they tell the Edim, write it down in the star, the Edim are not allowed to write it in the star. My question was, why? And I looked and looked and looked and looked, and where did I find it? In the Ritva, of course. Says the Ritva like this. Although, because there's no real Kenyan over here, right? There's no Kenyan here, like handshake, like a Suder, like something. What's a Kenyan? No, no. The fact that the parents are happy to see the couple under the chupa, that alone shows, oh, we are happy, we're to freedom, and we're really committing ourselves. Ah, maybe that level of commitment without a Kenyan, without a real Kenyan, is only good enough to be Baal Peh, not to be with a star. Tell me, people, what's the difference between commitment about and commitment with a star? La locha? Hey, after three bobas, you have to know that one. Remez starts with a kuf or with a shin. In kuf. Shibud karka. If I describe to you something about faith, it has no call. I'm not mechuyev to give to sell my land for that. Let's say the chosen's, the, the Kala's father was mischayev in a million shekel, which is quite common nowadays, and he doesn't have the million shekel. If it's verbal, you can say, listen, as long as I have million shekel cash or in mobile, mital to them, I can give you. I'm not mechuyev to, to sell my apartment to give you the million shekel because it's only about pay. Had they written it in a shtar, becomes a milve b'shtar or schiu b'shtar, and then he has to sell his house in order to to be to be mechay to to be mechay mizchiu. Oh, and the chiddush is that in this Kenyan, because it's not a full Kenyan, you just uh, know of seeing out of the children under the chupa, you can't force them to have it in a star unless both sides agree to have it in a star. That was a result of the research which ended up with the ritual. Halacha l'may says it's a Rabbi Yisai. So again, let's summarize. Let's summarize and I'll hear your questions and then we'll continue. Let's summarize. Let's not get confused. We're learning here about Shtar what? Kiddushin. Shtar Kiddushin, Mechloikis, whether the name of her has to be written or not is Mechloikis. You know what Tresas Rezokin says? I don't know why. Unbelievable. He says the Chosen's name has to be written, but not her name. Don't know why. Now, and some people say no one's name, some say everyone's name. However, we all agree, we all agree La Halacha, La Halacha we say, Lishma has to be there. You can't write just, you know, a star without having one specific woman in mind. The woman that's going to get the star, you have to have her in mind as you write the star. That's agreed, meaning that's what we ask in. Now, however, does she have to know about it? Does she have to know about it at the time of writing? Is a mechloikis and she's mechodeshes misofik. That is not resolved. As an aside, we also saw another halacha. As an aside, we also saw another halacha about the vote, star to know him. If you write without a star, you made oral conditions between the Chosen side and the Kala side, and you did not make a Kenyan, but if the Kiddushin, according to Sam Rishon, including Toysbis, yeah, that says if the Kiddushin was right away, that's why some people do it at the Chasana, you know? That's what I did with my son. Yeah, there was no Tnoim. The Tnoim were written right before the Tnoim, which are really written in the Vort, usually were written before the Chupa. Although there was a Kenyan. What? Not all. in America. No, in Israel, many times they write all the Tnoim in the Vort. Whatever, face different things. The Maisa, if the if the if the chupa is straight away right after that, Hano, wow, the couple is there, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. That alone is Mikhayev, the parents, yeah, to at least verbally, the level of Milva Balpe, to be committed and follow the conditions that they were committing themselves. Taisus uh, has a question with different answers. Taisus says that they said also brought down in the Locha, that may apply only to the first Shidduch. Let's say a person's daughter is divorced and it's a second Shidduch. He's not so excited. It's not like the first time, so maybe he's not so happy and just Balfe doesn't help. He has to make a Kenyan. Question time before we continue. Yes? Sure. five fifth wad lan, ube bia, minolan. How do you know that a woman can be miscarriage with a bia? Well, we saw already a source. Now we're going to see another source. It says in the Torah, Beulas Bal. It says if a man is caught, so it says, with a woman who's Beulas Bal, a married woman, a man and a married woman, Law Lane, who did what they did, her husband is in Miluim, and what? And now came the man, and he's with the Bulas Baal, Law Lane. Then you see a married woman is defined as Beulas Baal. What's Beula? Somebody that had relations with a man. Beula is the opposite of Besula. What do you mean by Beulas Baal? Beula by the husband. Melamed that teaches you, Shenasalo Baal Alide Beila. Beulas Baal. He became her Baal. He became her husband through Be'ila. So you see, Be'ila is a legal way to make a woman your wife, obviously with halachi conditions, not stam business. So then that it works. Now, who are, who's the one talking here? Rabbi Abou, 
quoting Rabbi Yochanan. They're the ones who made that Drosha Bula's Baal. Amel Rabzeir Rabbi Abo. Some people say that it was an attack of Rabzeir against Rabbi Abo. The Amrila, others say Rashlakish Rabbi Yochanan. That Rashlakish asked Rabbi Yochanan. But the question was asked on that duo of Amiroim. Ura Zusha Shona Rabbi? You think Rabbi's Drosha is ugly? Because Rabbi says, Ubeolo, Belamet Shiniknes Bebia? Question mark. Why don't, what fault did you find with the drosha we learned already before that Rabbi the Tana said, it says, Ki yikach ish isho, ubeolo, that teaches you that what's ubeolo, niknes bebia, a man acquires a woman, yikach ish isho, ubeolo, he has relations, niknes bebia. In other words, you're in a moira. Why are you inventing keilu anu, reinventing the wheel? Why are you inventing and bringing me new droshas, bulas bal, when there's already a good old drosha and he has relations with her that says he becomes her husband. Why don't you use that drosha? What, did, what fault did you find in that? Answers the Gemara, and with that we'll finish. He says, no, I don't like the drosha. You know something? I actually don't. What's the fault with this drosha? I'll tell you what this drosha is the uh, uh, fault. If from there, if you only learn from there, I would have said the following. I would have mistakenly thought, I would have thought a man has to, I would say Kiddushin is a two-stage process. The Kaddish with money, and then he does Be'ila, and when he did step A, and then step B, then she's Mekudeshes, Kamash Malan. Let me explain. This actually makes a lot of, not that one needs my, my Eskomo, but when you read the Psukim, that's what it sounds like. Ki yikach ish isha, read with me, guys. Ki yikach ish isha, ube'olo. Translate to English. Yikach, we all told me the Chachomim. Yikach means money. Kichachichas, therefore, and this week's Parsha. Yikach ish isho, money, money, money. Kiddushin ring under the chupa, photographer. And then, ubealo. Ubealo. Later on at night, beila. Then mazel tov, she's mekudeshes. So if you're learning from ubealo, ah, that's the way you go. The pshat of the Pesach is telling me you need A and B. And only then she's mekudeshes. So it's, it's not halacha, but that's a havamina. Kamash malan, that's why I prefer my drosha that says exclusively, independently, Be'ulas Baal. Be'ulas Baal tells me what? She becomes Da'al, he becomes her Baal, by Be'ila alone. And now, and Kesef is alone. Of course, there's a question why I need the word of Be'ola. We'll deal with that later. I don't like the drosh of Kika Hishisho Be'ola. Yeah, it sounds like Ika, with money. Plus, you need one more step. What? Be'ola. Then she's Mekodeshes and Echinami. If between the giving the ring and the Be'ila, Let's say she goes with someone else. She's not Chav Nisa. She's not Eshes Ish. That would be the Havamina. That's why I don't like the drosha. I like my drosha of Be'ulas Baal. Da, 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 da. We are at the beginning of a whole story here of Be'ila. Be'ezel Hashem, may we all be Zdoiche to be the Mashiach being our Baal. Be'ezel Hashem, like Yermeyo Novi says, we're all going to come back to Eretz Yisrael. Singing and dancing, Bezos Hashem. Atzlocha brocha. Thank you to all our viewers on YouTube and on Torah anytime. Atzlocha to all of you. Kol Tuv.